And in terms of that Chinese intelligence spy base on the island of Cuba, I know I spoke to you about this previously, but National Security Council spokesman John Kirby says the Biden administration is, quote, taking this report very seriously. Steps are being taken to mitigate the vulnerability of these activities. Um, from I know Kirby has a tough job in covering the missteps of Joe Biden, but how should the U.S. counter Chinese activities? Well, before we start worrying about the CCP spy operation outside of the U.S. continent, let's worry about the CCP weaponization of the U.S. federal government agencies. Because in this country, the DOJ and the FBI and the federal government agencies have become the CCP's tool for political uh, persecution. And they have been used to, to go after uh, CCP enemy Mao Zedong and, uh, uh, and also to indict President Trump, which is also CCP's most most hated the U.S. president. Um, uh, Moscow had already warned American people two years ago that the CCP would do everything and anything in its power to stop President Trump from his 2024 presidential bid. And now we saw that happened. And Moscow also uh, predicted that he himself would become uh, a victim of the, uh, this, the CCP's weaponization of the Biden's DOJ and FBI. And now he's behind the bar without bail. On June 14th, uh, his bail... Uh, uh, bond, uh, uh, his bond uh, request had again been denied. It. So we know that uh, the Biden's DOJ has allowed the CCP's uh, 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 secret uh, police station operatives to be bailed out on the same day when they got arrested. But why can they not bail out uh, uh, Moscow CCP enemy number one? So we're not hopeful about um, Bl uh, Blinken's visit, and we want America to start decoupling from the CCP instead of engaging with the CCP to continue the CCP's slavery of the Chinese people and the stealing of American people's jobs.